Hello and good day traders. This is GBP and JPY. And uh, this pair is uh, very interesting at the moment, the point where it is. I would like to explain it to you guys. It made a double top here in last month, exactly in this uh, area. You guys can see that uh, we had a green and red and this, uh, this was a very big supply zone. It was a very big supply zone previously and he pushed the price back <coughs> and made the whole market bearish to this level. And it has created the same issue here, uh, uh, the same, it reached the same supply zone again. And in December we have a very big bearish candle engulfed the previous month. And uh, but the last month what happened is that uh, it, uh, it failed to break this area. This, uh, this was the major support here and it, it failed that. Now this month uh, uh, still we have 11 days to go or 8 working days of trading and uh, it, it, uh, pull, it got a very strong, you guys can see it got a very strong uh, bullish candlestick here right now and which has uh, engulf uh, this uh, red candle previous one but uh, we cannot decide uh, based on this uh, because if, uh, until uh, 31st of January but uh, just I, I would like to keep it uh, uh, in consideration so we can uh, make uh, this uh, we, we don't get confused in the long run that the monthly uh, engulf has already happened and if it remains like this then we have a very big uh, bullish uh, market in February. So this is what we have in monthly chart at the moment. And uh, last week, I mean in this month, it tried to bridge the previous stop. It, it tried to take out the previous stop. Either. You guys can see it here. Let's touch this area, this guy, this guy. So anytime a long shadow creates a different impression, Please keep that in mind. Any long shadow with, uh, on the downside of any candle gives an indication being bullish and on the upside it gives an uh, indication of uh, bearishness. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now here is a red and green and we don't see any red and green in this range in weekly way. Nothing is here but it has been stopped once, twice, thrice. So let's move to daily now, if we can see, find something here, which we can uh, interpret something like this and we can see that uh, this, uh, this guy has been stopped for, by this guy. Uh, in monthly what we can say is simple, this, uh, this is the guy he stopped this and this guy stopped this. So if we go to daily now and mark it, uh, this is a double bottom has been created here. In, uh, daily. This is the place where it has been created and we push the price back again to this extent and we try to reach the monthly double top. So that is a thing happened. So let's mark this area. This is the area. So considering the depth of market we should consider this one. So this is the area from where the market has started pulling back and got bullish uh, in January. So now this is our range at the moment. If we go to weekly, this is the range and in monthly, of course, this is the range, the same range we are working on. You guys, uh, I, I hope after trying this uh, daily double bottom, it is more clear to you guys uh, what is happening and from where it is happening. So this is the whole thing. In daily now, if we measure the depth of the market again, and this is what uh, we can see that uh, uh, in monthly we don't have, we cannot consider, uh, January has not finished, in week two we don't have any double top. In daily do we have a double top? Yes, we have this green and red and green and red inside that monthly double top it has created. And here what happened is this. Despite it created a double top here, you can see that it has created a double top very clearly. The problem is this, that this is a confusing candle. Neither buyer nor seller 
able to decide uh, properly. Though it is a bearish uh, move, but uh, still, uh, it failed to give us a clear indication which way the mar market will move uh, next week. And this is not a clear indication at all. If we see it this way, this is the thing. It's a double top. But uh, considering this uh, this range at the moment, uh, either we can expect the market to come back here. Come back. Uh, it should come back here. It should not will. It should come back here. This is one option we have at the moment. The other option is that as we have seen in monthly that it has engulfed the previous month already. So there is every possibility that the market will be very much strong in bullish bias, very much uh, strong. So mark this area in daily, please do, do, do that, mark this area uh, in daily and uh, keep an eye on this area, keep an eye on this area. Uh, let, me, let me finish this so I can draw it properly. Okay. Mark this area and now let's go to 4 hour D if we have it here. So you guys can see now for something like this. I told you that if it would have been something like to the neckline, to the neckline it would have been better. And if it gives a, a, a candlestick like this uh, in next 4 hours. Uh, maybe we'll have another green candle here that maybe the market will get a little bit bearish because there is a uh, this thing needs to be overcome uh, what you say hold on uh, let me clear out some issues so it doesn't show up in monthly and we clear up <coughs> we'll not be able to see things clearly so we, we need to remove them from this area Okay, and the last button of this is right. So if you go back to the monthly time frame, uh, you guys can see that this is a very strong candle, this, this guy, so I'm very, I cannot say immediately that it will be bearish uh, bias. But uh, the pattern is showing us uh, it is a little bit uh, uh, sorry, I cannot. Uh, the pattern is showing it is bearish bias. And uh, in monthly, we had a double top from this area already. And it is trying to break it a bit. Uh, uh, but uh, still, we have a shadow. We had a shadow of uh, last week, even if we measure in weeks. We have a shadow here. You guys can see. Uh, weekly, we had a shadow. Yeah, it tried to break but it failed so there is nothing definite in uh, gbp uh, gbp jpy at the moment uh, we cannot have a clear indication uh, my opinion is to wait for uh, something like this a uh, green candle maybe here bridge this area like this uh, why is my green this is the green make it like this okay and make the other thing also green uh, in daily time frame, if we have something like this, then of course the market will go from here. It will be test and fly for the next level. This is one option. On the flip side, uh, we can see that uh, there is a very uh, big area has been left untapped. Uh, this is uh, what you would say untapped area, which has not been addressed yet. Uh, fair value gap has been left a very big area. If we measure this area, it's not a matter of joke. It is almost, uh, guys. Let me let me clear it uh, to you guys so you guys can see it. That uh, it uh, it is a very big area which has not been fair value gap has been left. This area fair value gap, and if we measure this fair value gap, is very big. If I'm not wrong, it is uh, almost. 275 pips so it needs to be tapped it needs to be tapped 
so um, one option for me is to uh, in my opinion if i would like to take the trade i will tra trade it uh, from here something like this will happen you test this zone again and then it will work. Uh, because uh, the data uh, if we see the next week data we have a lot of things going to happen on monday nothing is here but on twist early morning a lot of things can happen monetary policy the interest rate of bank of japan is coming back uh, japan press conference on wednesday again we have some good day a very important data of gbp so this this uh, uh, twist and wednesday is very big uh, for both uh, both the cases of uh, usd uh, uh, gbp and jpy so watch for it uh, my way of thinking at least uh, uh, it should be come down a little bit before it starts moving up but my opinion in both cases it will move up uh, it will not be a get bearish so far i can understand uh, cannot provide you with any correct lead at the moment because i don't see anything it is a confusing candle the last day the friday candle is confusing and we don't have anything exactly to be measured the whole thing so wait and see what happens and then decide so if you have a green candle here breaking out uh, take out this uh, top from here or top of this taken out go for long and if not then wait the price to come down here and see the price action here something will happen to retest this area then Thank you very much and please like, give like, share it as much as possible and please do subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I am trying very hard to cross the 100 subscriber level. Thank you very much.